This is our All American Sun Oven that we purchased last summer. Off Grid with Doug and Stacy had a, a webinar that they hosted with the All American Sun Oven Company, and they had a special pricing deal on the Sun Oven package. So we purchased that uh, during that webinar. It has a little prop on the back, a little leg that you can adjust it. You'll want to adjust it according to the position of the sun. And the strap is what's going to hold everything together so that you can pick it up like a suitcase and carry it. But strap is a little tricky, I've found, because sometimes it um, is hard to unlatch if you're trying to do this by yourself, which is what I'm doing today. So you've got these reflectors. That's what's going to uh, reflect the sun to cook your food. And right now, I think it's around 930 in the morning. As you can see, this little thermometer up here at the top, that's increasing the temperature the longer it stays out here. With these little holes down here, this will tell you where the sun is, where the shadow is, and how much you need to adjust it to get the sun in the right place. So you want the sun to come down, let's see if I can reach over here into this little hole. And you can see that shadow, that little dot of sunlight coming in through there. So it's almost lined pretty perfectly. So I move the leg up and it's not exactly perfect, but the sun is coming through the holes like it needs to. So I think that's fine for preheating. And as you can see, it's already about 125. So I'm gonna give it maybe 30 minutes or so, 20 or 30 minutes, I'll go in and prepare the dishes that I'm going to cook. With the sun oven, when I purchased it, uh, these two pots came with it, and these are stackable. So I don't know how many quarts this is, maybe two quarts. It's, it's not very big. Um, but you can, if you were cooking one, you could use just like this. Or usually when I cook chicken, I like to use the glass lid because I feel like maybe that browns the chicken a little bit more. If you're cooking two dishes, you can do that or use the other lid if you want. So that's what I'm going to use today. I have my veggies chopped up and now I'm getting ready to season them. So in this pan, I have garlic and onion and potatoes and carrots. I just chunk up. I just kind of prepare them sort of the way as if I was going to do it in the crock pot. So I just kind of have them chunked up there. And then in this one, I have cauliflower and garlic and a little bit of onion down there. So I'm going to mix those up. And then I like to just put a little bit of olive oil uh, on each of them. And then salt and pepper a little bit. And then some curry, some ground turmeric, and some ginger. And then my chicken quarters are going to go on the um, potato, carrot, onion mixture. And I'll season those as well when I put them on there. I season the vegetables and mix those in really well. Um, I like to buy these in a big bulk pack because they seem to be more affordable. And maybe you get 10 uh, quarters in there, 10 or 12 or something like that. Keep out what I want to eat in the next day or so. And then the rest I'll pack in Ziploc freezer bags, um, two in a bag. So this is what we're gonna do. This pot goes on top, it stacks like that, and it's got these nice ridges, so it makes it easy to stack. It fits on there nicely. So we'll take it out to the sun oven and see if that's ready to go. The sun oven's been preheating probably 30 to 45 minutes. So you can see, if you can see in the inside that hole, the sun is there where it's supposed to be. And also inside that hole. And the oven temperature right now is 350 degrees. So I'm just gonna open this up. And this is gonna be hot in here. So you have to be really careful when you're placing the pots onto the hanging rack because that hanging rack will kind of swivel from side to side. I use my pot holders, put the pots in there. You want to make sure you put it on there where it's 
nice and stable and it is and now you see just in that minute and a half or so the temperature has dropped down to 300 which is still fine it'll go back up after i close the lid so i'm going to close the lid and you lock the latches here and slowly starting to go back up so this is going to take a couple of hours and what i'm going to do probably every 30 or 40 minutes i'm going to come out and check the position of the sun to make sure that the sun is still aligned properly and i may need to end up probably turning it let's see yeah that looks perfect if you see the sun coming through that little hole it's squarely on that hole inside so that looks good that looks good from that side so i'm going to keep checking it now if you were going to leave this all day rather than point it to where the sun is now you'd want to point it to where the sun is going to be between 10 and 2. so if i was going to leave for the day i wouldn't want to leave the sun oven like this i'm going to adjust it because the sun's going to be straight up this way between 10 and 2. and that way the the sunlight is always uh, aligned in the holes where it's supposed to be so this chicken and vegetable mixture is kind of my go-to there's a lot of recipes that come with the sun oven there's a um, a cd or a dvd that has different recipe written recipes on it and you can find some recipes on pinterest and online well, the chicken's been out here about 35 or 40 minutes now i can see that i need to adjust the oven because if you look through there, the sun is still popping through that hole, the shadows in the hole, but um, needs to be adjusted to be more in the middle of the hole. So you can see it's off center a little bit. I turned the oven a little bit uh, to face more towards the sun and I let the leg down. It was here and I let it down two notches. So now you can see that the shadow in the hole is perfectly aligned over there and this one's perfectly aligned chicken's starting to brown so that looks good now what's going to happen when you know it's ready is that this glass is going to end up um, fogging up and when it's completely fogged up then you'll know that your dish is ready so probably probably another hour and a half or so it looks like okay checking on the, the chicken again i'm going to move it one more time but it's looking pretty well that's about how it looks like when it's finished it's all steamed up so let me just turn it one more time and then i'll leave it for a few more minutes okay billy is going to bring the chicken dish out open that oh look at that yeah, look at that. That's so both good. of those. Yeah, take both of them. Okay, just set it over there on the trailer wheel. Here is the chicken. It's hot, so remember your pot holder. Look at that. That is fall off the bone tender. It's a lot of juice in there. Now lift the top one off and then we'll show the bottom. the cauliflower that looks really good okay let's take it inside and get ready to eat